When you're learning software testing, I divide that into three different kinds. There is front-end testing, back-end testing, and performance testing. And in this video, I'm gonna show you some examples of back-end testing, AKA API testing. When we're talking about back-end, it can mean API or it can mean and it's something else. If the application is, the back-end of the application is doing something different than APIs, then that's what you will be testing. But in this case, I'm gonna show you API testing, just examples of API test cases, all right? So here, what I'm looking at here is an API. This is an API for a WooCommerce application. This is a customer's API. Basically, it creates a user. You make an, a post call, you give it some data. At the bare minimum, you give it the email and the password, and this will create a user and will respond back to you, right? So I'm gonna make this call. I'm gonna hit send. This is gonna send a request, we got a response back. So as a tester, if you're testing if this API is working, what are you looking for? So this will be a positive test case, meaning you're testing it for the way it's supposed to work. You're making sure it's working the way it's supposed to work. So it's supposed to give you a response back. First of all, the first thing is a status code. You have to make sure it's giving you back a 201. In this case, this API is a post call, so it should, and it's creating something, so it's gonna give you a 201. That's how it's designed. So that's the first thing you look out for. If you don't get a 201, automatically something is not right. Then you look at the time. This time actually can change. All right, depending on how busy the server is, then you pay attention to it to see if it's not excessive, right? If it's more than two seconds, or maybe even for this kind of API, more than a second, you want to take a note of it, then you can report it and you can see how often that comes up. But that's usually for load testing or performance testing. This is, we'll focus more on functional testing. Then you look at the response, so when we look at the response here, making sure all the fields that are expected to be in the response are actually in the response. This one is a big one, there's a lot, so you might not check for everything. You'll prioritize saying, hey, what is the most important part? So for example, if you are creating a user, in the response, make sure the email is the same email that you sent. Make sure password is not included. The response should not have a password in there. right? Make sure the date is correct. Whenever it's created or modified, it's correct. Make sure the ID is not blank. Right? Since we did not specify the first and last name, make sure by default they're empty. Uh, when I'm looking at this API, when you create a user, the user has specific role. And in this case, the role is customer. So we have to make sure by default, if I don't specify the user role, is it gonna assign it to customer or not, right? As soon as I say that, you should be thinking, okay, maybe I need to create more test cases for different roles. And that is true. So you're gonna come here, you're gonna write another test case where you actually pass in the test, the role and make sure that role gets captured correctly, okay? That's just an example. I'll create more videos uh, talking about more examples specifically on this API. So make sure you follow.